Hello everyone, good evening, how are we doing on this phenomenal Monday evening, oh, nose is already itchy, 10 seconds into stream, not good. Well, oh, there's Drew. Hello, Drew. Welcome. Man, I got to fix this, this mount here. Oh, no. My chat box is... Uh... Oh, that worked apparently. Okay, interesting. Uh, it's Matt. So sometimes Streamlabs is really weird when I'm trying to create new stuff. So that's, a that's actually that gigantic chat is there for something else that I'm working on. But it apparently, like, didn't create a new chat. It just changed the settings on this one. I'm very surprised that it kept the crop on that one, though. Um, but anyway, uh, welcome. Welcome to our Monday stream. Um, how's everyone doing this evening? I hope you had as good a Monday as you can. And I need to ask everyone... <laughs> It is a new hat, Drew. I got, I got, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you guys about that in a second. Uh, partnered, no. <laughs> no sponsorships, but please, for the love of God, if anyone wants to send me money for free to hawk their stuff, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, <laughs> uh, gamer goo, I'm looking at you. Um, so yeah, I have to ask, is anyone else not working the entire week? Drew and I just had this conversation and we're both like, ah, oh, man, so rough to go back to work on Monday now after. Uh... Yes, exactly. Am I free? As... I am free as a sellout. Please DM. Yes, please hit up those DMs. Um, I will hawk any product you, you want. Uh, no, but we were at... we were like, you know, it really sucks going back to work after the holiday weekend. It's tough to get the gears going. And our, our buddies who we game with regularly are all, they're all like, well, what do you mean? We have like the entire week off. We know like, th I know like three or four people now who have, if not just, or if not the whole week off, at least they took today off. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish I would have done that, but uh, it's too late now. But no, I got some new stuff in the mail including some new clothing. I desperately needed some new t-shirts. So I got some new t-shirts. I got some Star Wars shirts. I'm not wearing it right now, of course, but um, I got some Star Wars t-shirts. I got a couple of new hats. A couple new hats. I like this one. Uh, oh, I like the other. Here. This company called Jinx. It's this, I promise this isn't sponsored content, but they had, they had a bunch of stuff on clearance, so I got a handful of things clearanced out. Um, on top of that, it, it was, it was one, of, it was one of those amazing days at the post office where you go in and seemingly everything you ordered is there at once, except of course for the new pogs. I'm still waiting for those. Hopefully they come soon. Um, but yeah, everything was there pretty much that I ordered. Yeah. My camera has it flipped. It says jinx, jinx. And I think it says get wrecked or something underneath. I didn't really care about that. I just liked that it was a black hat. Um, but yeah, I, a bunch of stuff came for me today at the post office. So I got my clothes. I got, I did this, I ordered, uh, there's this company that looked really neat called bike, bike brew, I think. And they sell cold brew coffee bags, which I know you can just grind up coffee and we have a cold brewer, but I kind of wanted to try it cause it was a neat company and they had like a cute little cold brew glass that you get with your first order. Um, and I did like the, the flight. So I got a 10 pack of caramel, a 10 pack of regular, and then, um, chocolate, but a very, very neat branding. I'm a sucker for 
good branding. So I, I'm going to try that tonight because usually I'm not a cold brew guy typically, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I'm sure I'm still going to like it. but And then uh, the big thing that I want to show you all. So if you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug for Instagram, it's just raging. I think it's just raging gender. You'll know it's me. Um, but I have an Instagram and I like to post like a little bit of extra stuff on there. Um, particularly shit I get in the mail that I shouldn't be ordering. Uh, but I ordered, my purpose was to order the room, the film, the room, which if you know, you know, that's all I'm going to say about the room. Um, because as far as I know, you can't get it digitally anywhere. A lot of times someone will have it uploaded on YouTube and you can watch it there. But I, I either wanted to be able to download it to add it to one of my libraries or, um, you know, just have some kind of reliable way to watch it that might, uh, you know, cause like YouTube, they could take it down any second. So I wanted a hard copy. So I went on to Tommy Wiseau's site and thank you, Bella, for putting the plug in there. Appreciate it. Um, I went onto the site to order the Blu-ray. Um, and I, I did that and it came today, but I got some surprises with it. Um, now I did expect a couple of these things, but not all of it. So first surprise, I got the room Blu-ray. However, it is signed by Tommy himself. And this is what it says. It says to Matt, be good, love Tommy Wiseau. And then he dates the time that he signed or that he uh, puts the date on the bottom of when he signed it. Okay. So that was, that was the first thing I got. That was what I ordered. I didn't know it was going to be signed, but it was signed. So Tommy right now has also been including n95 face masks with every single order so i got a free face mask so um interesting additional thing to add but hey you know what um great for public health i guess right um but this is gonna be one of those things i already have a bunch of face masks so i'm just gonna be keeping this as a memento of this order and a reminder of our times which is funny because recently I ordered a VHS tape and they also they also threw in a face mask in there. So it's, it's odd times like, you know, like in 50 years, you look back, it's like, well, why is there a face mask inside of this VHS box? They won't know what VHS is anyway. Um, other this item was also a surprise. Look at that. Look at that beautiful man right there. Tommy included a headshot. Also signed. And it says, to Matt, love is blind, Tommy Mizo. Also dated 12-21-2020. And then <laughs> the final item. Now, I did know this was coming with it. Um, I'm not going to wear them. I almost feel like I should just frame them or something. That would be really weird. But I, I've got a fucking Danny DeVito in standee in here. So, I mean, at, at, what, at what point is it just, you know, it's weird. I, I work in a weird room. It just is what it is. But I have a pair of Tommy Wiseau branded boxer briefs. <laughs> um, it's, it's just so odd. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, but I have a, a, a brand of Wiseau briefs. So, uh... So yeah, I got I got some interesting <laughs> you support framing or wearing. Yeah, so I I just don't see myself wearing them. <laughs> I wear boxer briefs, TMI, but you know, I do wear boxer briefs, but I I just there's something about wearing them that are weird. I don't know. <laughs> it's just odd. Like yeah, it's just weird. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> so I, it may be an item that I just hang or frame. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool stuff in the mail today. But we are going to play Slime Rancher today. One more thing before we hop into that. Uh, or well, a couple more things. Pogs still are not in yet. I Usually they get to me quicker. However, Christmas Rush, I ordered them probably at a bad time. So my thought, I did get the invoice and it's paid for. So I, I this per, it's the same person I work with every time. They haven't failed me yet. So I, I have no worries that they'll get to me. I'm sure that they're just caught up in the mail right now. Um, 
but they will get sent out as soon as I have them and schedule this week. So we're going to play Slime Rancher again tomorrow. And then on Thursday, I am doing, I'm not going to do a New Year's Eve stream. Reason being, um, well, this is, I, I don't want people to feel bad. This isn't the reason, but this will give you other things to do if you're not partying. Plenty of other people in our communities are doing uh, New Year's Eve streams, so I didn't feel like I really had to do one. <laughs> uh, if that, I'm sorry if that sounds bad, but um, there's plenty of other good people to watch is what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just going to be watching their stuff. So New Year's Eve, plenty of people to watch. I know Justin's doing a stream um, as well as uh, Ginger and then Bella. I don't know if you're doing one, but throw yourself <laughs> throw yourself a shout out if you are. I'm not sure if you are, but for sure, uh, Justin and Ginger, our friends, are doing uh, New Year's Eve streams. Um, I will be doing a very short stream. I think I put six o'clock, but now that I think of it, that might be over Justin's stream, so I might need to adjust the time of that slightly and do it earlier or something. But anyway, I'm going to do a very short stream on New Year's Eve, and I'm calling it the state of the channel address uh i am not but i'll be in both streams okay sounds good so yes go please go check out um justin and ginger give them a if you're hanging out in here you probably follow them already but if not please go do that they're great people <clears throat> and we'll be having fun with them on new year's eve um but i'm going to be doing a state of the channel address and uh it's gonna be just a quick thing but my goal with it is to just do like a quick review of the year like how things are going how things went for the stream um and then a preview of things to come so i'm gonna kind of uh drop you some details on things i have planned out for um 2021 uh some of it is going to be just very direct i'll tell you what i'm doing and some things i'll be dropping teasers for uh but i have big plans for 2021 It'll be a very quick stream. If you don't make it, you can always watch the VOD. So now we're getting into some retro stuff. I'm going to try doing more of that, but we're playing Donkey Kong Country. Uh, I believe it's on Friday, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's a fun game. Um, get back to my retro platforming roots. So enough enough of the jibba-jabba. Let's, um, oh. Where in my game? There it is. Uh, we're not, let's, let's, let's play some Slime Rancher. Um, I am really excited to hop back into this one. I had so much fun playing this game. And if you... A couple of things for people who might be interested in playing. Number one, if you are a Stardew... I would say maybe more so Stardew Valley, but if you're a Stardew Valley or a an Animal Crossing fan, check this game out. Um, if you have Game Pass, it's included, so you can play it with your membership or i believe steam has it on sale right now for like four or five dollars um i would say like four or five dollars that that seems like a steal for this game so uh, definitely worth checking out at that price if you don't have game pass but i'm really digging this one okay so last we left off we've got four different pens of slimes we've got these cats who are just a little they're called tabby slimes these guys are little assholes they always jump out even though i have the, the ceiling thing on it these guys are little sweethearts these are the phosphor slimes they're my favorite so far the pink slime they just eat everything oh six dollars thank you and thank you for dropping the link bella is super super mod just dropping links left and right from my lips to Bella's search bar. <laughs> um, so yeah, six dollars. Six dollars is, I think, a great, a great deal for this game. But yes, yeah, so we've got, and then there's the rock slime. These guys, the pink ones, are just like everywhere, and they eat everything, but they don't make the. I believe the, the little poops that they leave, the plorts that you sell, they're not very valuable. Um, and then we have a couple of plots of 
fruits and vegetables to keep our guys going. So we've got beets there. Uh, these square strawberry things, I think they're called Q-berries there. And then we've got some carrots up here. Oh, and then chickens. I forgot about the chickens. But yeah, the the cats like to eat. How many are there? Okay, so these guys we can only have a certain amount of time or they'll stop breeding. But these are the cat slime's favorite. So we're going to do this. And look at some of these guys are just... Yeah, they're desperate looking. These little bastards love to jump. Oh, I forget. I can't just... Huh. I can't run over stuff in this game. I have to vacuum it up. Go back. Thank you. Um, and we had someone in, we actually had from a, against all odds, <laughs> this, this has never happened to me before, but last time I was playing Slime Rancher, um, I got raided three times. <laughs> so I got raided by our friend Justin, I believe he was first. We got raided by Justin. And then we got raided by uh, Bree, hashtag Brielle, I believe is her uh, streamer title. And then um, I haven't seen one of his streams yet, so I need to check that out. But we got uh, raided by Waga as well. Um, but I caught a, I looked at a couple of his bots. He seems like a very nice guy. His, the folks he brought in were very kind. But yeah, we got raided three times. Insanity. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do. So uh, last time we were playing, no, no, not Wamba. Uh, <laughs> I, I I can see where that's confusing though. There is a guy named Waga. Um, not it isn't Wamba. Um, I, I'm trying to remember what. Shoot, I'm trying to remember what the last part of his name was it was two w's it was wow Shit. i followed it i followed him on on twitter oh but i can't remember his name like the full name anyway so i think what i'm gonna do the main area that we're in I want that to be dedicated to slimes, and then I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to transition all of my farms to be over here is what I'm thinking. So we're going to create a few farms. Oh. <gasps> Wait a minute. Maybe I won't do that. Uh, I just thought of something too. If if I put crops down here, there are like free, there's like free range slimes that are just gonna probably saunter in here on occasion, <laughs> um, and that might not be particularly good. What's this? The docks. Um, well, I just, I'm a very, like, I like to have things structured. So I'm like, this is where we grow our stuff. This is where we keep slimes. This is where we do that. Like, I, I like to have things sorted. Like, like I'm, I'm really anal retentive. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but I, I don't know how, not sure how well, I 
we can get the scare the scare slime thing because i'm afraid that these wild slimes are going to eat all of our all of our shit making me very nervous And so if you didn't catch the first one, um, another thing you can do is you can do these kind of like daily challenges. Like, so people will requisition stuff that they want, right? So this chick wants uh, two phosphor plorts, two rock plorts, and two tabby plorts. And then she'll give me all this stuff, which that's, that's a pretty good deal. So I think we'll do that. Okay, so we already got the two plorts there. Uh, we'll get some more rock. Actually, we've got <clears throat> we've got the rock plorts we need already. Perfect. Oh, isn't that cute? A heart. I just <laughs> I just noticed that on the naming. They're so cute. Okay, so there's those two. So we just need the phosphor ones. And those guys like fruit. So, actually, are these ready to go? Not quite, but there were some of the berry things over here. Yeah, these guys. Pogo fruit, that's what it's called. I also need to be a little bit better about <laughs> uh what i grow on my farms because if it isn't <clears throat> if it isn't a fruit that's a favorite of a slime i probably shouldn't grow it um because if you give if you give a slime its favorite food it produces two plorts instead of one Okay, so now, actually, let's throw these in there. These guys love heartbeats. Uh, I learned the hard way with the um, the daily request that Ooh, port authority, new achievement. Um, I learned the hard way the dailies that when you complete it it just throws all the shit on the ground right away <laughs> so um like if you don't have room in your inventory it just sits there so we're gonna do it so we have max space as soon as we complete this see it like boom just throws shit on the ground so we're gonna give these guys all the pogos Oh, but what I was going to say earlier, I, I, I had asked because a, a couple of the people in chat had played uh, from Waga's Raid, had played this before. And so I said, these pink slime, what's the deal? I feel like I can just chuck them <laughs> and it doesn't matter uh, because they eat literally everything. But if that's but if that's the case, like, why don't I just get the slimes that those are their favorite food and make more plorts because the pink slime their uh, plorts are worth the least too the least amount and so someone told me later on if you get like the science lab it will matter to have those things so I was like oh okay so I'll just I'll keep them there for now lovely sound effect yeah right yeah the sound effects are great on this game I love it The 
rock ports are so happy there because they they almost always get all the vegetables because I think other than the pink slime they're the only ones I have right now uh, that eat or that uh, vegetables are their favorite it's it's the the heartbeat is is their favorite so they're always happy fat boys We're we're making some we're making some revenue now. I'm uh, I'm digging it. Seven thousand. All right. What is this guy? I feel like there's it's like a tele there's like a teleporter thing I can do at some point. Silo. Store plorts and resources in a handy compact unit. Simply shoot to available silo to fill it. Ooh, can have up to four ports for storing plorts and resources. So the one thing that might be kind of neat or might be good about getting a silo is so like the it's like a stock market, right? It's kind of like the turnip exchange on steroids. And these guys are worth more or less depending on I don't know if it's influenced by how much stuff we sell, but it goes up or down each day. So I suppose you could silo a bunch of stuff until you get the exact price you want. Be kind of cool. Uh, uh, I kind of do want this to be like my farm area though. I know, well, let's, let's do it. No harm, right? No harm if we just try it with one, right? So let's do that. Let's just try it with one. We'll put the scare, sl scare slime is a stuffed tar model designed to keep wandering slimes away from your crops. Simple, but terrifying. Okay, so we're going to get him. I didn't realize a sprinkler was a thing. A nutrient soil. Look at that. All right. So, um, we're for sure going to want to grow something. <clears throat> we're for sure going to want to grow something that's a favorite right now. So, our boys haven't used all their heartbeats yet. So, we're going to do that in this little plot here. <clears throat> Another thing we need to try, uh, I can't remember what they're called. It's like, oh, here. We have a slime pedia. We can look. Largo slime. So, Largo slimes are slimes that are a combination of two. So, as, like it says, it's a hybrid of two slimes. Their diets, a combined diet of their two source slimes, making them enticing for ranchers that want to maximize their profits. So, a couple of things about them. So, when you feed them, you I believe you get a plort of each kind. So, you get, you get two plorts for one item fed, which is good. However, downside, um, they are too big to suck up. You have to, like, you have to, like, get it stuck to the end of your vacuum one at a time um and then it says on the risks here in addition to being more difficult to manage and having combined powers of two slimes an even greater threat to ranchers lies with these supersized slimes if a largo eats a plort unlike its two source slimes it will transform into a ravenous tar slime And they're a, plur a plurotonomics at the bottom. When a Largo eats, it produces plorts of both sl source slime types. Um, so yeah, I I feel like it's worth the risk because we can we can put a cap on like as as long as yeah exactly hybrid. As I feel like as long as I build high walls, it'd be worth it. Um, and I think my first well. I don't know now, but I think the first thing I wanted to try was a hybrid between the tabbies 
and the phosphor ones because at the time those two were going for the highest but now the rocks are but it it switches um but that would mean i could feed them chickens or i could feed them fruits So, as we transition into making, oh, carrot, carrot time, into making this more, this area more about the slimes than anything else. We're going to start getting rid of these farm plots because I think. I might have every plot taken right now. I didn't realize that. Every plot on this area, anyhow. Mm, yeah, I do. Shit. The carrots. <laughs> hey, Carly. Humble Slime Rancher. <laughs> Welcome. How are you doing this? Now, Carl, just, just so I'm up and up. Carly, that is... You, you are Chudley, right? Or are you a different person? I thought <laughs> Chudley said that you are going to change their name. But I think that's you, right? <laughs> I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Okay, you are. Good, good. <laughs> good. I just feel I just feel bad when I, I mix... Oh, you can remove the crops. Nice. I didn't know that. Only for, for only 10. Okay, well, that's good to know. We're gonna demolish this plot. Um, but yes, good to know. But welcome back. How are you? How are you doing this evening? I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Some some would even say too much fun. Okay, so this is gonna have our hybrid guys in it. So we need to build high walls. We need to have an air net. We need to have a solar shield. We're definitely gonna want a port collector, port collector. Um, auto feeder. We may as well. We have a lot of monies, so. Okay, so this I think this is the ticket to creating these guys. So we gotta suck this up, and then we gotta suck him up. Yeah, I thought it was a Harry Potter reference. Um, that is that is one of the Quidditch teams, right? Is it the 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 Chudley Cannons or something? Right? Did I get that right? Doing pretty good. Finally got internet working, so not on mobile anymore. I can finally do AC and other games on. Oh, nice. Oh, I did get it right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I still got it sometimes. Oh yeah, look, we made a Largo. He's a flying kitty. <laughs> oh, he looks mad though. <laughs> That's awesome. Ron's favorite Quidditch team, which hasn't won in like 70 years. Yes, yes, it's all, it's all coming back to me now. Um, there was something I was gonna ask about Quidditch. Oh, Carly, or I guess anyone else, have you played the Quidditch game before? There's a video game, uh, I believe it's called uh, Quidditch World Cup. It is such a good game, or it was at the time. I don't know if it aged well, but I played it on, was it the original Xbox maybe? But it was so fun. <laughs> we impressed. Thank you, thank you. I do I do my best to try to try be a, a good nerd every now and then. <laughs> But it, it, uh, it was it was very fun. I liked it a lot. And hey, it's Catherine. How are you doing, Catherine? Welcome. We're, uh... Oh, eat that, dude. We're just farming slimes here. Having a grand old time here. On the, on the range. I was, um... Well, okay. And I'm sure some of you can um, 
you, you were uh, I'm sure several people in chat here were the same way but I was the uh, I was the kid who on release night I would get it I wouldn't stay in line but I would get it on the day of release and then I'd have it read in like a day or two <laughs> and Justin the oh Justin I heard you did the quiz what house did you get I'm very excited to, to know Ooh, now I need to do it. Yeah. Um, I will say you went, oh, you went to the midnight book releases. Yes. I do remember that. Hufflepuff. Okay. That makes me happy. And I, I, uh, I totally, I agree. I think he's a Hufflepuff. I, well, okay. I think that almost everyone has at least two houses, uh, like two houses that they could, that they could be in like maybe like a dominant one and and you know but i i could see hufflepuff i think justin is a ravenclaw slytherin slytherin that is i'm sorry kate slither that's a bad take i don't i definitely don't think that i don't think he's a slytherin ravenclaw i could definitely see i don't think slytherin though have you Justin is a kind-hearted soul. Have you seen? I'm not saying Slytherins on the whole are bad. Our friend Flo was a Slytherin, but they're they can be very cutthroat individuals. He's definitely a Slytherin. Oh my god. Well, well, Catherine has the background knowledge, so <laughs> Chad has. Okay, yeah, apparently, apparently so. <laughs> and yes, I can tell you, Justin, about my Tommy, um, my Tommy stuff that I got today. Um, but yeah, every, almost every time I've taken like the Pottermore or any of the like off brand, um, quizzes for houses, I almost always get Ravenclaw. That's, that, that's what I get like every single time. I like once, once in a while I'll get Gryffindor, but I, I think I'm definitely I feel like Ravenclaw is definitely where where I belong. Oh, did you did you see the video, Justin, on uh, Instagram? If if so, I won't uh, I won't explain it again. But oh pottermore shut down in october i'm so behind <laughs> i didn't know that they shut down what's the replacement there has to be one right but she said you didn't wait but she said you didn't think she was a ravenclaw yeah i i yeah i i stand by that assessment I stand by it, damn it. <laughs> what do you mean not in a good way? <laughs> Come on. Hufflepuffs are, are lovable. <laughs> Wizardingworld.com What a terrible name. Pottermore was so good. That was such a good name. I'm a Hufflepuff. You got a pro... See, that's what I'm saying, Carly. I have nothing wrong with. I have nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with Hufflepuffs. <laughs> Do not lie on your stream. I. There have been a lot of lies said around this table this evening. Chain go unchained reference. Oh. Where are my things? I just like my hair. Long as it's ever been. Thump. All right, now, now shit's, now shit's serious. I gotta take my other glasses off for that to work. Now shit's serious. We got to deal with the shades on. Yes. I think that Kate's a Hufflepuff, but it's, 
every 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 house has their good and bad traits okay so kate's just remembering the bad traits that are attributed to hufflepuffs and kind you know that like they're kind of like is it wrong to say that hufflepuffs are generally associated with kind of like clumsy individuals but they're also very caring individuals Well, Kate, I think Kate has tested into Ravenclaw, right? So if we're going by the letter of the law with, with the tests, it's Ravenclaw. Lovely and loyal. See? Thank you, Bella. Thank you. <laughs> Those shades are so fresh. Thank you very much, Jim. Appreciate it. And welcome, Jim. We're, we're in the middle of a, um, a very heated <laughs> Harry Potter discussion right now. Um, because I one time said that, uh, I, I believe Kate is a Hufflepuff, not a, not a Ravenclaw. Um, and them's, them's was fighting words. <laughs> Thug life. <laughs> the yin and yang of stream accessory. It, that's very true, Justin. Like, what? One rarely gets pulled out w without the other going on. Hufflepuffs are for, are particularly good finders. Okay, well, that that just makes the case even stronger for Kate because I lose shit all the time and have to have Kate help me find it because I'm so I'm so bad. I, I lose things all the time and I need. If that's what that means by finder. <laughs> Maybe it means something else. I don't know. <clears throat> it's because you don't think I'm smart, Matt. I never said that. Now, now you're putting words in my mouth. Uh, what I said on Justin's stream, it's what the person themselves believe they are. Oh, and Jackson. Jack, a wild Jackson has appeared. Welcome. How are you doing this evening? Mrs. Raging says she's a Ravenclaw. She feels it in her soul. That's not the reason. Uh, okay, are you accusing me of saying that I said you were dumb and <laughs> that's why you're a Hufflepuff? Because that didn't happen. Now you're imagining things. <laughs> like sexuality and gender, I think uh, sometimes houses can be fluid. Well, that, that's that's kind of what I was saying, like, less eloquently before, is that, like, I, I think I think people can have traits from from multiple houses. True. I don't think that. Um, oh, shoot. Actually. Oh, no, no. Stay in, stay in, stay in. Where's the little guy? Come here. What? Oh, he went into the slot. Okay. It's cause you're you're smarter than me. You don't think I'm smart. What? Kate! What? Stop! <laughs> I think people are like 75% one and 25% another on a super simple way to look at I I think that that's fair. Be back in a few. I have to watch bit videos. But yeah, fluid to be more accurate. Harry Potter is always this deep for me. No, it, I I know you're just giving me shit. I know, I know. But I'm saying, like, I I don't think that that's like a bad. I, every every single house has good things and bad things, right? Like even so, I'm I'm Ravenclaw, or you know. Oh, he doesn't like those. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just shooting him with <laughs> vegetables he doesn't want to eat. Like Ravenclaws. Like I've read, like they're, you know, they can be, they can be egotistical and they can get, they can get caught up in, in information. And that's not a good thing. Either. Oh, we creating some, some big boys here. Ooh, a question. If 
there's one character you relate to in Harry Potter, who is it? Oh, that's that's a very good that's a very good question, Justin. Um, well, off the bat, I have to say, not Harry. <laughs> Not Harry. I, I am not the hero of the story. Um, I wouldn't consider myself to be bold or brave. You know, a, a, any of those types of traits, I, I don't assign that to myself. Um, I'm, tr I'm just trying to think of like all the, all the characters. Um, oh, gosh, that is, that is a really good question. Well, Drew Drew makes the safe assumption one of the Weasleys because the the hair, <laughs> um, the hair. I, I would say Ron, but I I want to give myself a little bit more credit than that because Ron is like just a very he's a very good-hearted individual, but sometimes he's kind of I, I kind of think he's a bit of a dope sometimes. Um, for better or worse, I think that that's, that's kind of how he is. But I like Ron. He's one of, he's like my favorite character. He's one of my favorite characters. But there's nothing wrong with being a dope sometimes. <laughs> yeah, what I wish and what I would really be are very different. Um, movie Ron, maybe. Sure. Yeah, I, I could see that. It'd be Neville for me, says Catherine but possibly Hermione. I think those are, I think, you know what? Um, and, and sometimes people, people give Neville crap too. Um, Neville blossoms into a beautiful character in the book and in the movie, especially in the movie. Have you seen that guy? <laughs> Talk about a glow up. You tried to make the case for Voldy earlier. Okay, well, Justin, because I wasn't there, I'd like to hear what your case was i mean i'm not gonna agree with you most likely but nonetheless i would uh i would like to hear it <laughs> drew double <Dudley>. nice <laughs> this that's all yes. um gosh i still can't kate Sometimes I feel like you're better at answering these because you you live with me. What what character would you think of for me? So I'm I'm struggling to think it. It might just be because I'm multitasking. Uh Ron is one of your faves. <laughs> a lot of hate for Drew's Dudley comment. Justin was saying earlier he wants a, a Voldemort plushie. Combo of Luna, Ron, and like Colin. <laughs> Hashtag snake boy. Voldy has swag. I mean, I I will agree with you there, Justin. Like I, it doesn't make him a good person, but I I, I think he's got swag for sure. I'll I'll, I'll agree. I'll, I'll concede there. Oh, a Dumbledore. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> I'll, I'll just say I, I, I can see that he's got some sway, but that doesn't make him a good person. Death, Death Eater's evil swag, yes. I hope Mr. Raging is less sus than Dumbledore. Dumbledore, mm. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm that wise, though, of a person. Can we? Can we maybe say a mishmash of Ron and Dumbledore? Is that fair to say? I. I feel like maybe maybe that's an okay spot to be in. false statements on this wise business well i i appreciate the the sentiment he was wise but a full-on idiot there there is um there is a difference between wisdom and 
and knowledge for sure common sense so on and so forth so which harry potter character would be a twitch streamer um gilderoy lockhart right <laughs> it has to be <laughs> i feel like it has to be right When is Toga Talk happening, though? Speaking of wisdom. Um, early 2021, Justin. Uh, you, I don't think you were here at the very um, onset of the stream, but I have plans on Thursday. I'm not doing a full-on stream because everyone, uh, everyone's doing their other streams and I'm going to be a part of them. Um, but I'm going to do like a quick 30-minute stream. I'm going to do a state of the channel address. And I'm going to talk about plans for 2021. So I kind of have like, I kind of want it to be just a quick year, year in summary, and then talk about what I've got planned for the future. And it's funny, like, Ron, why is like Dumbledore? Well, that, that's very kind. Very kind of you. What's Toga Talk? So um, I, I discussed that very briefly in the discord Catherine um essentially the plan it's a theme stream so some of you might know I I like to throw in occasional streams that are like themed around a certain thing you know do a little bit of dress up oh serious that now that would be that that's that's a cool comparison see now I'm remembering all the characters I feel like Now that you say Lupin, I like Lupin, but that, I, I guess that doesn't mean that I'm like him though. I just, I, I like him. Why isn't this collecting stuff? Oh, it is. <laughs> if a video came up. Mad-Eye Moody. <laughs> what, what a guy. I love Mad-Eye. He's awesome. Uh, <laughs> bad eye booty. Oh, but sorry to answer your question, Catherine. So, um, it, it's a themed stream, and the whole concept being, uh, we we kind of like farm Discord for some weird questions, just bizarre questions, and we have a whole stream where we discuss, like, essentially debate those odd questions so like things that'll never happen um the inspiration from for it is um some of you may know our good friend chef um when we found chef the very first thing we did with him he was um having a good time and so we were just asking him really weird questions and he was answering every single one of them earnestly and that gave me the idea that it would be very fun to just do a stream around odd questions. And so when I say odd questions, I mean really weird stuff. So, for instance, like, one of the questions we asked Chef was, if, when you created Snowman, they became sentient beings, would it be unethical to build Snowman? Okay, so weird things like that. But it would be a whole theme stream, so it would be like, you know, Greek Roman forum themed. I would don my toga once more. Um drink cheap boxed wine and have a good evening. So that that is what Toga Talk is. I just uh, I I need to I, I said a while back I need to workshop it a little bit more but I do have plans for it to be in early 2021 that sounds good yeah thank you thank you I hopefully it's a good time the bright side is with new things like that if it if it's not like not as good as I thought it might be we just don't have to do it anymore and one week in game hey how's it going thank you for stopping in um I'm having a very good night just playing some slime rancher here again um, this is our second time playing it. 
but yeah, having a good night. How about yourself? How are you doing? Brendan Gleeson playing himself. Has anyone never seen Harry Potter? You haven't seen them, right, Sarah? Or are you a Harry Potter fan? I didn't think you'd Yes, the gingerbread oven. Um, I'm good. Just got done uh, tutoring. Nice, nice, very nice. Um, sorry, let me catch up on chat here. Mad eye needs to stream. <laughs> that would be a fun theme stream. I don't know if I could pull that off though. Have yourself a wonderful night, Catherine. Thank you for stopping in. I hope thoughts of uh, Harry Potter discussions don't keep you up too late. And thank you for the lick. When you can get it. Voldy stream would be fun, just saying. You know, the thing, Justin, I, I've got the complexion. Like you throw, like it wouldn't take much for me to be a little bit lighter than I already am. It could happen. <laughs> no, Justin, no. <laughs> just, just, nope. <laughs> Shutting that shit down fast. <laughs> The hug he has with Draco. <laughs> Justin's trying to turn turn Voldemort into. He's trying to uh, work our sympathies for him. Is it working on anyone? <laughs> Who hurt you, Justin? <laughs> That's that's too good. <laughs> that's too good. I love it. It's the emotional heart of the franchise. I mean, the series wouldn't happen without him. <laughs> I mean, that's it's a salient fact, right? I will say though, and Drew, Drew will know about this conversation. I, I don't know if you part, you were partaking in the conversation, Drew. But um, Drew and and uh, one of the guys who comes in here occasionally, Tone Zone. Um, we were having a, a discussion about how people undervalue a good villain, which like Tone and I. Well, I don't. I guess I can't speak for tone, but uh, one of my favorite Game of Thrones characters by far is Peter Baelish, and Kate hates that I like him, but he's he's a good villain. Like I like him. I just it's the emotional heart of the franchise. All series even evil orphan. Yes. I just remembered my friend was playing Slime Rancher while high the other night. <laughs> this would be a very good game to play while you're <laughs> while you're baked. Not it, it doesn't require much of you. Uh, Probably think you didn't believe me that it was spelled Draco. <laughs> Who's Draco? I would never. I would just stare at everything. Slime set on desk. I love him. Cersei. Yes. Yeah, see, Cersei. Cersei is another. I would I would actually say that Cersei's a better villain. I just I just uh, I have a soft spot for the Peter Baelish character. 
Um, worst person, great character. Yes, yes. So bad, but the best goddamn character. Yeah, I mean, there needs to be appreciation for uh, people who are good at being bad. Yes, Peter and Varys. Varys is, is a him and Baelish are my are my favorite characters. By far. I think that. I mean, at what point do you say like there's no such thing as spoilers anymore for <laughs> for a series that's been out this long? But um, I think that Peter's death was. Uh, like his was very his was very good like well done but yeah I think Varys deserved a little bit better than he got yeah and, and fair point Carly the <laughs> the last season was not that great oh okay <laughs> I forgot about that <laughs> I forgot that didn't you send that to Sam or it was like a it was like a snap or something snow and dragon lady why uh, they just didn't see like acting wise they didn't seem to have Whole lot of chemistry today. Like I, it wasn't, it wasn't terribly believable. That's what I'm saying. These guys are my cash cows now. Except my queen of the north, Sansa. Yeah, Kate, if you can, uh, if you can find the, if it's a snap or something that you have, feel free to, to throw it into the the, the Discord somewhere. Buck buck bagoo. What is that achievement? So 100. Wait, what? Oh, feed 100 chickens. Oh, poor chickens. Not a huge fan of Sans, so. uh. Rush romance is the worst thing that can be done on a shore movie. Man. Yeah, uh, I mean it's it's gotta it's gotta develop, it's gotta bake, right? And so yeah, when they rush it like that, it not good, man. Not good. Love Tyrion, John, and Danny. I I <clears throat> excuse me. I liked the three of them as a team. You know, I, but yeah, romantically speaking, it didn't work out. I, I, I think they could have made it work if they would have had more time or if they would have taken more time. I don't know how to phrase that, but y'all know what I mean. All right, folks, we're making more hybrids. I'm so excited. We're making hybrids. All right, we need some rock ports. First season is exactly like the book, so amazing. I really want to read the books. Um, I've been, I, I've heard from some of my friends who have read them that they're very good. Um, 
Kate, there should... Is it? Hmm. Uh... You just throw it on the main channel. That's fine. You can do that. All right, we're not, like, terribly picky unless, like things start to get like aggressively in the wrong <laughs> the wrong spot but i don't have i don't have a spot looks like specifically for videos so look at this we've got flying rock guys now oh no eat your rock port yeah go for it go for it you have the books yeah i, I know you have them i just And I say Hermione Syndrome as in books to movies. She's great in the books because she has flaws and is like an actual person not made to be perfect. I think that's fair. I love the ones I did read. I think they just got buried in my books pile. Yes, the Onion Knight. I like him. Okay, so... Okay, we were all talking about Harry Potter characters. So what what character, Game of Thrones character would everyone assign to themselves? Dress up and stream as Boldy. Uh, yeah. I would love to see that, personally. I would be all for it. <laughs> Ow. <gasps> I'm gonna die the closest I've ever been to dying in this game. I was pissed when they, when they, uh, wait, what am I reading? Oh, I was pissed when they fixed her hair. <laughs> I support the cop. Let's see, mix of San, Sansa? Caitlyn? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say the name. It, it's going to be one of those things, once I think of it, I'm going to be like, oh. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was odd timing. You too. You too, you kids. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those blasted kids. My tube is all out of sorts. That sounded bad. Uh, redact that statement but justin with a gifted sub to carly our friend carly and ginger subbing for five whole months almost up to that six month pog Thanks, you two. I appreciate that a lot. You are so kind. And bless your souls for staying with me for this long. <laughs> uh, uh, what? You must be ma you must be masochistic for, for sticking around this long. I kind of had a feeling that one was going to get added to the quote pool. Just sometimes you have a feeling. <laughs> You have to go, but you wanted to say hi. Well, thank you, Ginger. That was a that was a very nice way to say hi. <laughs> it, it's the mustache for me, honest. Hey, you know what? I'll I'll take it where I can get it. <gasps> oh no, my big ports. I didn't put a I didn't put a lid. Oh fuck, they're gone. I didn't put a lid on the roof. Where did they go? <sighs> Oh no! And I, oop.
Um, guys? Uh, I didn't put a roof. I didn't put a roof. Oh, I didn't put a solar shield. That's why. Oh no, they burned alive! They didn't get out. They, um... I killed them. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <clears throat> Whoops! <clears throat> oh well uh if you resend it to me kate uh in snap i should be able to um it might it might be be yeah it might be file size limit but i can i can always like downsize it on my computer Compress it, I mean, that's the word I'm looking for. <clears throat> I can compress it. Took a quiz and got hold all. Holder's not a bad person to be. I feel like I took the quiz one time and I but I can't remember who I was. Yeah, Kate, if you just want to, <clears throat> excuse me, if you just want to delete that post um, and just send me it, I'll, I'll post it later. I'll post it after the stream. Yeah, you got the, uh, you got the new, uh, you got the skull badge. The oh so famous skull badge. Yeah, Carly, uh, is that your, is that your second or your first? Whatever month you, so on your first, third, sixth, ninth, and then one year, or month and then 12 month, um, <clears throat> you never did it for first. Yeah, so if you go on the Discord, there's a channel called Pog Redemption. If you go there and fill out the little form, I'll send you your very first POG. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, if it's your second month, yeah, you would uh, you would get the third next, next month if you sub. And the, the sixth month design is complete. Um... I am just waiting for the company to, or to receive them from the company that I ordered them from. <clears throat> oh, and I'm not, I'm not terribly concerned, Carly. You can, you can, you can definitely fill out the, the first. I, I just, they're so small. I just send them in an envelope. So it, it costs me, it's like the cost of one stamp. Like it's not, it's not a big deal. If it was, I would not can't do it. <laughs> so proud of uh, proud of your pod collection. Um, well, Justin, on the in the uh, state of the channel address, we'll have more pod news. Goes without saying, I'm happy for us to be Bachelor too. Yeah, I wouldn't be too too worried about it. And I don't, <clears throat> I don't really do it as like a. I, I, I'll just be up front and say it. It doesn't cost like a whole lot to have them made, so it, it's. I'm not really looking at it as like a money making venture. It's just more as like a fun, fun way. To, to give back to folks is really all all it's intended to be 
Plus, I love Pogs, so it, I have a blast, like, thinking of new ones that we can have. I've also... <clears throat> I've been... <clears throat> sorry, gotta clear my throat here. I've been, um... I've watched a few... DIY videos. And people have ways to make like holographic like they make their you know they make their like own trading cards or whatever but they'll add holographic foil to it and i so i am like thinking of ways that we could do like holographic like holographic pogs that i would be super jazzed to try out but i, I gotta i gotta research a little bit more to see what else i need Uh, it's just the perfect physical rewards. Still have not seen anything like it on Twitch. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I may be the first person on Twitch to give away Pox. Pro probably as a sub ward for sure, but... Um, I, I will say, though, and this was, this was by pure chance. Well, maybe not pure chance. Maybe the algorithm is that smart. But I was looking at... Um, like there, there's like a list of recommended channels when people aren't online, and um, this one guy, he he was going through like some retro finds that he had, and he he got like a hand, like he got a bunch of pogs. I was like, oh, pog content, what? <laughs> so that, that was that was an exciting moment. Uh, of course, we just want to make sure it's not cost. No, I um I will say, uh even so, so even if like I don't bundle anyone's pogs, so like you know they submit it every single time, which is totally fine. Um, I still end up coming out ahead. So it, yeah, I, I, it's not I'm not losing anything to do it. So yeah, don't don't worry about that real hollow yeah yeah so like they're um without getting into like the the really excruciating details it sounds like you can buy holographic paper and so there's like a couple ways to do it but it sounds like essentially the process is, is you get like a laminator and then you take like whatever the item it is that you want to make holographic and then you cover you know, the side that you want to be holographic you put the paper on top of that you hit the laminator and then it covers that surface with the paper so i'd have to test it out a little bit to see if it works but i can get a laminator for like 20 bucks like a cheap one and the holographic paper the holographic paper is actually the part that from what i've read is the hardest part to get so i am oscar Especially at work. Uh, Drew wants to know what character I am from the office. Um, I, I, I have said this before to Kate. I, I, maybe I should word it this way. Internally, I'm Oscar. Absolutely, like. Like, I'm just, I'm tired of it all. I don't want to deal with your crap. I'm here for a paycheck. <laughs> um, like, that, that, that's internally who I am. Outwardly, though, I, I, I feel like I'm a, a pretty friendly, approachable person at work. But who does that make me, then? I don't know. Oh, you can only have one, one feeder on it. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'll throw that Q berry in there. <clears throat> I don't love the office, and I kind of think everyone is the worst. So I don't think I'm any of them. But Oscar is the the least terrible person I can think of, and I'm the guy who is the Pontiac Bandit. You love Angela. 
We all have the office, just not as much as as Matt. Yeah, I, I, I like the office. I'm just, you know, um, some people that's like their go-to like background noise show, which more power to you. It's always it's good to have something like that. <clears throat> I just say I would just say it's not not really for me. Not 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 to that degree. I I do enjoy watching it though. It's a funny show. But I, I do like Parks and Rec better. I'm sorry to say. He likes the British office. Yeah, I know, <clears throat> I know it's slanderous. But I like the British Office. Even though it was only one season, I prefer the British Office over the American. Sorry. Not sorry. Let's throw this guy in there then. <clears throat> oh, you love Parks and Rec too? Nice. Fellow Parks and Rec fan. So you're shaving me for not liking The Office. What three movie book show characters make you uh, uh, make up you? That's another good question. Yeah, um, I feel like a lot of you folks know that I yeah I I have an affinity for British humor, and I still need to watch Peep Show. That's and I, I, I want to say I found a way to watch it too. I, I think I found a place that I can watch it. So I don't really, I don't really have an excuse anymore. Is what I'm saying. Other than time. Three movie book show characters that make you up though. It's a really good question. Uh, Cause I'm very, very indecisive. So there's a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of possibilities. A lot of possibilities. Anna from uh, Frozen, or uh, I guess Anna, right? Jake from Brooklyn Nine Nine, not another third yet. Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, that's another good show. I do enjoy that one. I enjoy me some Brooklyn Nine Nine. I think you will see I'm literally Mark Corgan from Peep Show, or in Peep Show, and and no, that's not a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to remember that when I you'll have to well you'll have to remind me when I watch that um to to make that connection. I'm still trying to think of like three like from any movie show. Um I'm really bad at like recall of of things like that. Cause I know for sure you know I've I've definitely encountered characters before where I'm like that is I feel like I am this person. <laughs> yes, Drew, Drew is making the, um, in our friend group, the famous comparison of uh, me being Gary Sinise. <laughs> um, and that's not a compliment. <laughs> That's like a sidestep away from Steve Buscemi. <laughs> um, who I hear is a lovely man, but, you know. Jake is a disaster, disaster by disaster be, and I can relate. Um, I have to be honest, Carly. I'm not sure what that is. Would you, would you explain that to me? I know it's not the word. The 
<laughs> disaster bisexual. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. It's like a like a trope kind of. Okay. That it does make sense. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the explanation. These guys are going to get all my beats. Uh, because I think Jake is by and, uh, and so do a lot of people. I did not, uh, did not know that that was, I did not know. That. But I also, um, I will say for as much as I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I... I'm not very familiar with like, the community around it. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't dove in deep. That's what I should say. I usually, I, I watch it when, when Kate is watching it. So I don't think I've even seen probably all the episodes yet. But I've seen, I, I think I've seen most of them. I'll find a link, okay. Okay, now, did we install, look at, look at our, Look at our hybrid boys, our Largos. They're gonna be happy with these heartbeats. Oh, there's different rates at which I can feed them. I didn't know that. Started watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine last year. Was so pleasantly surprised. Yeah, right. Um, because <clears throat> I would say personally, that's not the type of show I would typically like. I, I know it's not like a, it's not a cop drama. You know, it's, it's definitely meant to be more um, funny, but uh, I was very pleasantly surprised with it. I liked the show a lot. Cat is trying to jump the chicken fence. That would be tragedy. And also, who's the idiot who put a cat cage right next to the chickens? Huh? Who would who would do a who would do a thing like that? Just the big dum dum. your carrots oh Justin um I was gonna ask you damn it I can't and of course I'm using my phone as my camera so I can't check um shoot I really hope you know what I'm talking about are you aware of this lovely older gentleman in the UK who's on he's he's Twitter famous and his whole thing is he grows vegetables, but like usually they're of like gigantic proportions. Like he's just, he's just the biggest green thumb you've ever seen. I followed his account today because I, I see his posts. Oh man, um, <laughs> I just, I liked one of, if you're on Twitter, I, li I think I liked one of his tweets. He is just, he's the nicest guy and he just, him and his wife, they just talk about, but like he is the, um, He's the James of vegetables, in my opinion. He's just, he's a very nice guy. Maybe not like quite as like adorable as James, but he's, he's on the same, he's on the same plane of existence. Let's say that. bits what the heck thank you sir appreciate thank you for the biddies as the as the kids say thank you thank you oh my god i forgot <laughs> i forgot that i have tina twerking on the bottom of the screen <laughs> i forgot to get rid of that it's not christmas anymore gerald stratford yes yes you get you found him he's the he is the one 
That is the one I'm thinking of. I'm really dig digging this whole like sprinkler system thing we got going on here. Well, we've got enough, so let's... I like the idea of a silo. I just feel like I wouldn't use it right now. So let's just make another guy. Eh, let's just... You know what? It, it doesn't... Now that we have money, it doesn't cost that much to, like, shit can't stuff when we don't need it anymore. So we'll just do this. Make more of these few berries. All right. There we go. Sweet. Um... And then, let's grow some more of the beets, too, while we're at it. Excuse me. Keep Tina, okay. All right, Kate. For, for this stream, I will keep Tina Tina and the tree up just for you. We'll pretend like it's still still Christmas. Um, so a, a handful of you were able to join on Christmas. Um, towards the very end of the stream, we did this thing called marbles on stream. And the whole concept is people in chat can play along with it they don't need to download anything nothing they just hit exclamation point play <clears throat> and it enters a marble into a marble race for them that i have displayed on the screen wow, we just got a new friend i hope they don't stink and when we're when we're um when we're ready we start the race and all of our marbles compete against each other so i have a theme stream coming up specifically to play that game and it has gone to the point where I have ordered wow, things from Amazon for stink. it. Whoa! Two follows. A back-to-back -back from Cutie Orange's I Love Ducks and Larita4268. How are you two doing this evening? Um, and hello. Hello to you. Can I give you a mission? Get 30 chickadoos. I do this to everyone. What, so what do you want me to do with the uh, the chickadoos? Those are those are like the little baby ones, right? So to thank you two for the follow. There are so many people doing that at the moment. Yeah, Justin, um... We're, we're gonna have a fun time with it. And also, we found out a way to work in the prediction system. So now on Twitch, there's something called predictions where you can gamble your channel points. So we had a fun time testing that out too. Um, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have a good time with that. Uh, 30 chickadoos, keep them and make them royalty. So I have a question for you then, um, oranges. Can you keep them that size? I, wouldn't they, wouldn't they like grow and then they wouldn't be the little chicks anymore? I'm still, I, I'm still very new to this game. This is my, my second time playing it on stream. So I have much to learn. Just make them an awesome... No, just make them... A, I can make them an awesome home, yeah. And I <clears throat> I will say, oranges, um, I've gotten to the point where I'm not really keeping tabbies m much longer. I've got a handful of them there. But I've turned them mostly into hybrids. So, like, here's this hybrid here. But I don't really feed them chickens. I feed them fruit. So... Call you Chloe. Do kill them! Oh, the, the, the tabbies you made? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I will try to. I will do my best to remember your name. I will. I, I will do my best. <laughs> um, I, admittedly, I am not always the best with names, but I will. I will try. Oh, don't kill them. <laughs> See, these these ones have have a pretty good, pretty good home. They're all upgraded. The only thing is, uh, these, what are they called? The stone chickens or something? You, you can only have like 12 before they stop breeding. Is there some background to this request I need to know? Yeah, um, I, I also feel <laughs> like I need to know what's going on. Actually, let's go, uh, let's go check our crops. They're babies, they deserve to live. <laughs> oh yeah, that was, okay. That was another thing I was gonna mention about the marbles too, Justin. We found out, which in a roundabout way I kind of get, but it still is dumb for like instances like this, I can't turn it off. Um, mods can't gamble. But we, uh, the way it's set up right now, we kind of want to try doing it as like a once a month thing. If there are mods on who want to like join in, like you can still play. It will still let you enter a marble and you just won't be able to gamble. But if we have mods in chat who want to gamble, like I can temporarily unmod so you can play along um, and then just remod you when you're, when you're done, done playing. But, they, but it is going to be a themed stream. That's all, that's all I can tell you. No, I just love chickens and ducks uh, by the name. I also I like to see if they can do it. <laughs> oh, I think I think we could do it. I think we could do it. Um, and, and to be like I said, I, I don't really have a reason to feed them chickens anymore. Man, these guys, I need to get more of these hybrids in here, though, because they're not eating. They're not eating stuff as fast as I need them to be. Uh, let's let's do that right now. So we need to turn. Actually, let's turn the tabbies. So let's suck these up. Took forever. Oh, it might take me. It might take me a little bit. As I just as I'm working on other things. Eat it. Come on, buddy. No, eat it. There you go. Join your friends. Open your mouth. <laughs> Gonna be uh, back and forth between here and Jitter. Sounds good, Carly. No worries. No worries. Um, can we please have a Justin and Matt co stream when Animal Crossing comes back to the room closet rotation? So, are you talking. Are you talking like an Animal Crossing full stream? Is that what you're that that what you're saying, Drew? You love this game? Yeah, I uh orange or oh, sorry, Chloe. <clears throat> I'm gonna forget that, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> um I also really enjoy this game. This is only my second time playing it, but um, I'm having lots of fun with it. It's a good game. Very good. Yeah, that one ate it right away. I would like to do uh, co-stream would be fun if Justin's if Justin's down for it. Mm 
through. I don't think we're going to finish it this Thursday because a lot of people are doing, um, like, New Year's Eve streams. So I, I'm i just doing a quick, like, 30-minute stream to, like, just detail what I've got planned for uh, next year. Um, these guys need to eat their fruits. What's going on here? It's because they don't have room. Oh. But we will we will finish it. Jackson has redeemed the lay plunger hat. Uh, yeah, there we go. There. I was just it's only only a matter of time before the, the glasses get redeemed too. Here we go. And there we go. We look in flat. Well, they all look like happy boys in there, so I... Happy boys and gals. I originally didn't think that the automatic feeders would be that big of a deal, but now that I have them, it's kind of nice because I can just like unload, unload all the fruits. And just leave it at that. We got plenty of fruits now. Plenty of plort. Ooh, new achievement. What the house in this game? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a very nice house. And I've just realized I haven't actually <laughs> gone to sleep, like, in a long time on here, because I really haven't, uh, really haven't needed to. You can sleep, yep, you can sleep and it'll burn, like, well, I think, I think it, like, keeps you under until... I think it keeps you asleep until 6 a.m. or something. All right, let's, uh, let's slow down on the emotes a little bit. I have a link. Uh, Hi, Jake. Okay, should I put in Discord? Yeah, you can put it in Discord. 
For sure. Maybe like in the film area? Like I said. That's fine. I just want people to be able to read chat, you know? That's fine to do like an occasional emote blast. I think that might actually be all of my plots uh, over here. Yep. So I can expand outward. Let's see what's over here. I haven't done much of the exploring in the game yet. That's one thing I haven't worked on too much, but I'm having so much fun on the farm that uh, there's really no reason for me to venture out right now. Oh wait, no, 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 that's the fruit. I don't need to take that up. Stay in here. Caitlin Bradley. <clears throat> I'm too high to be here. <laughs> that's the right time to be. <laughs> the right time. Ooh, we gonna make some bucks. seem very happy in there so that's good <clears throat> it seems like the medium feed rate is a little bit better there isn't as much waste on the ground oh, got a couple more <laughs> yes that's the right time to be anywhere <clears throat> We're getting lots of achievements tonight. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for uh, achievements. They have five thousand K in one day. So <clears throat> I think the area. <coughs> Sorry. That's fun to listen to is me um, coughing, Fleming. I think the next area I want to unlock is the caves. Oh, I forget I have a jetpack.
forget. Let's uh, throw these guys some extra fruits, even though they're already very happy. You got it in the film section? Sweet. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good, good spot to throw it. Okay, I think we might have enough monies to expand again. Should be pretty cool. The Grotto. Dark and gloomy cavern above the sea and a likely first chapter to that novel of yours. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like this place already. How many plots do we have here? One, two, let's see, one, two, three. Four, five. Not sure if every area has the same same amount. At a certain point here, I need, I need to do a little bit more exploring so I can get some more get some more slimes. Because uh, I've got, I think I've got like the main four, and then obviously I've made some hybrids. Yeah, I think it's just, it's just been those four. And I've seen the gold one a couple of times, and I messed up each time because I had, I had too much stuff in my inventory, so I wasn't able to catch it. They like will randomly show up. Uh, oh, before I left the ranch, I found myself sleeping most nights in here. In this here, Grotto. I'd fill it full of phosphor signs and watch them dance in the dark. Drifting off, I'd pretend I was drifting in a sea of stars across the limitless black of space. It's funny how when you dream, you sure become a sucker for the impossible. Every time I woke to find myself back in the Grotto, I'd feel a little sadness, but then it was back to work. There was always something that needed doing. It adds uh, the H, the little H things add a little bit of interesting lore. Um, they kind of made it sound like they would be, like, helpful advice. And... Not really. <laughs> but hey, adds a little bit of lore, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's time we completed another one of these things. Ooh. Well, we can do that. Carrots, beets, and pogo fruits. We needed seven of the fruits, the pogo fruits. Um, let's see. Some more carrots. I think we've got enough of those. I need three more of the fruits, though. Oh, there's a. I didn't realize there was a way to like indicate. toggle on like a little HUD there it's kind of nice you know what I know where more are do we have some beats that are ready though yes we do Let me double check these numbers. Oh, I do need one more carrot. Um, and three more pogo fruits. Okay. Just got to be careful for the 
slime, uh, what are the tar slimes? The not nice slimes, we gotta be careful for those. Oh, there's two pogo fruits. Just a couple more carrots will be good on that. Front. Ah, lovely. Phosphor slime, go, go join your friends. I thought those were leftovers. Okay, I gotta go back out for more now because I just, I just uh, fed some of the fruits that I needed to other slimes. There, okay. Not that. Found something. Not a big deal. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Over here, this is what I'm supposed to do. There we go, there we go. All right, there we go, now we have some extra chickens. Go get a home there. <laughs> Much eating in this game, yeah, there is a, there is a lot. A whole lot of yeet in that goes on. Let's see, these guys. Billy carrots. Probably won't be their favorite, but. Um, if this isn't too obvious a question. Is there a plot, narrative, or is this straight up farming sim? Um, a, there is a the tiniest bit of plot, uh, Justin. I, I I have to be honest. It was so insignificant that I don't remember it mostly. But uh, I think essentially you're you're a young slime rancher or you know budding slime rancher, and I believe that this ranch area was like your grandpa's or something and this is on a different this is on a different planet i believe so um i think you came here to like take over the slime ranch type thing not too dissimilar to the stardew valley story uh part of that is me trying to remember if that is correct though but that, it's along those lines like you, you travel here to this planet uh and you're you're just focusing on Ranch and slime. Stardew in space. Got it. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, all of a sudden, I, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but um, so obviously uh, a couple of the friends of our channel here, uh, uh, Justin, Bella, I don't know if Ginger has hopped in on the action, but a lot of people... Uh, recently in, in our kind of neighboring communities haven't been streaming Stardew. But I looked, and I, I know part of it might be because the new update just came out and it added like a new type of farm and everything. But the, the viewership numbers for Stardew have all of a sudden just like blown up. Like I, I was looking and there's like 11,000 viewers, which for a game that's like not a not a competitive game and has been out for as long as it has been i was like holy shit <laughs> but i i think i read that it was one of the biggest updates if not the biggest update since it came out I, well maybe that would be the multiplayer update but uh i i really want to try a farm again would 
very much like to try that. They had some major updates. It always has 500 plus watching. It's great. Very much a live game. Yeah. Um, I want to do it again. I want to... I, I, I think that is... I think I... That, that's my intention, is that I'll, I'll... I will roll that into the 2021 rotation. Hey, Gypsy, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, hope you're hope you're doing well. Uh, how's your ranch? It's good. It's good. We're on, uh, well, in-game day 14, but this is the second night we've played it. Uh, and it's going, it's going pretty well. I'm getting the hang of things. Um... I've got a couple of the, the Largos made. So they're here. Um, I expanded two, to two areas. I've got the grotto and then the, um, I don't know what it's called, but like the, essentially like the, the plains or the, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, like the ranch area over here. But yeah, it's going really well. And I very much enjoy this game. Do you want to know how to unlock new slimes? Sure. Is it in the is it in the silent science lab thing? You create new slimes there. I know part of it comes down to exploring, but I don't know how much of it comes down to that. The docks. Let's use the space we have now before we. Uh... Yeah, I'm not like I'm not like terribly concerned about spoilers or anything. Headed to bed. Sounds good, Justin. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Um, thank you for gifting that sub to Carly, and I hope you have yourself a nice evening. Uh, you have to blow up the huge Gordo slimes that don't move. They give you keys to open doors to new air. Oh, those ones. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for saying that because I totally forgot that those guys were there. <laughs> totally forgot. So it, do you know, Gypsy, is that like collectively or do you have to do that like at, in one sitting? Because I've like fed them a couple of times knowing that I probably haven't given them quite everything they need yet but collectively but you're not sure okay yeah well, that's okay um that is a fantastic reminder though and i'm i'm guessing it probably has to be their favorite food right And yes, I have been feeding them their favorites. Like, so, you know, sometimes I'll get extra stuff that I throw in there, like these guys that just threw carrots in there because they will eat them. But um, yes, I have been focusing on feeding them favorites. Okay, in that case then. Let's get some of these free range chickens here. Cause I do know where the tabby is. I'll probably be able to find more on the way. I do have some of the stone chickens too. I could, <clears throat> I could bring those down. That's good. We can maybe do a mix, mix of the two. Pink needs 30 of any food. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I noticed... Um, I've seen a couple of them, but I just haven't... I, I haven't done much in terms of exploring. You know, obviously, I've gotten enough to get some of the slimes that I... I've got, like, what I assume are the four kind of base slimes. Um, I've done enough to get that... To get those... I haven't done much else for exploring, but 
but I have seen. Oh, that's the that's the Chungus pink slime. So he, he, that one we could probably get the key pretty easy. So we're getting lots of food. Um, but this tabby over here, I've fed him a couple of times. I could probably just feed him all these chickens again. Hen hens is what they're called, I guess. Oh, not all of you, Pete. Oh, okay. I think I'll clear. I'll clear out all the chickens in this area that I can, and I'll go blow him up. Oh no, he ate a chicken. I just feel a little bit. <laughs> I just feel a little bit guilty feeding like uh, the the chicks. the chicks uh, to any of the slimes. <clears throat> that tabby one gives you a portal back to your ranch. Oh, okay. Might be handy. Some of the chicks there. I'll let them grow. Oh yeah, we'll get, uh, we'll get some more foods to feed pink slime-o. Oh, they don't eat chicks. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, there's some fruit over here, too. Oh, look, he just opens up. He's like, all right, give it to me. Oh! Jelly Belly Burst. Burst of Gordo. <clears throat> well, I already have all that stuff. So I really need to stash that, I think. But I believe this key goes to the one that's in my cave, right? It looked like the same color anyway. Oh, it goes to any of them. Okay. Well, I know where that one is, so... And it's conveniently on the ranch, so I think I'll open that one. See what we find. Since I've got this extra money, I really should... <clears throat> I should upgrade my equipment, too, so I have a little bit more, like, the stamina and everything really no point in not spending it. Alright, here we go. Oh, not in this. Oh, <laughs> the other bat. The other one. Oh, I thought that was a lock there. Oh well. That's just a portal, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'll just go back. <laughs> I like I like the phrasing feral slimes. Like, it gives me images of like a raccoon slime.
So we'll head back. Ooh, there are hunter slimes that look like raccoons. Justin is going to be thrilled once we can get those. I can tell you that much right now. I want to grab some fruits and stuff. So I could be wrong, but I thought that it said that there's some angry mofos in there and it'd be best for me to have some food to feed them, but I'm not sure what they eat, so I'm just gonna make a guess at this point. No, no, you're fine. You're fine, Gypsy. I'm not like, I, I'm not terribly concerned about like things being spoiled for this game. It's just, just more, whoops, I'm going the wrong way again. Just more, you know, enjoying the experience. So if people have suggestions, that is totally fine with me. Oh no, nighttime doth approach. Oh yeah, that wasn't ever gonna work. Um, I just want to get some water, too, because it seems like you can kind of use that as a defense. Get yourself out of sticky, sticky situation. Okay, that, that's not a happy sign. Just going to see if I can just play the avoidance game. Uh, 165.9 hours in this game on Steam. I don't know how many on Xbox. You played it on both. I, but you know what? I can easily see this being a game that you just sink a lot of time into. Like, I, I lose track of time playing this game. I have so... That's a, that's a sign of a good game, though. I, I lose track of time playing this game. So it's just... It's, like, very pleasing to the eyes and simple mechanics. Cute slimes. Indigo Quarry, all that remains of the mining project that quickly went bust. It's cute. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Love slimes. Just like the, just the idea of slimes. Do Okay, maybe I, I have to ask Gypsy. Do you know, do they have merch for this game? I feel like it'd be awesome to get like some slime plushies or something. I play this game when I'm depressed and it almost always cheers me up. Yeah, I, I could totally see that with this game. Uh, I was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty. So I figured that life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you just know it? I come all this way and the first person I see, well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good anymore. I liked her laugh. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, pretty sure they do. Ooh. And yes, more lore. Um, Gypsy, if you uh, send the link to like Bella or one of the other mods, I think Drew's here too. Um, they can post it for you. If you try posting it, it'll it'll nope you. <laughs> but I'm fine with you posting the link if you hand it over to someone. Oh, oh, that's chicken. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, new sign. No, nope, that's chicken. Wasn't this where I was looking down from before? Oh, Amazon has them. Nice. Nice. Keep going. Okay. So say for for some reason it looked <gasps> Ooh, tar slimes. Not good. Be gone. I kind of like just sucking them up and uh, eating them. <laughs> it's a little more fun. Oh, he came back somehow or got behind me. Ow. 
might have been a bad time to come here, huh? Hey! It's Rock Friend. I'll be able to get him fat real quick. I've got plenty of beets growing. Ooh. treasure pods <laughs> so <laughs> so funny how they, <laughs> they open their mouth when you when you walk up they're like i'm ready <laughs> huh what the deuce huh is that like a radiation rad Oh, yep, I've got radiation poisoning. Fuck. <laughs> Those are awesome. I love it. Whoa. Oh. Volcanic boys? Boom slime. They've been known to explode. Oh, all right. Let's get rid of these fruits. Make some room here. Oh. No! No! Get away! <laughs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> oh! I need me another... Jeez! These guys coming out in force now. <laughs> sparky, sparky, boom, man. There's two other types. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get. <laughs> blows up and he's got that face. Very nice. Oh. Yes! Puddle slimes. Fuck yeah, boy. Fuck yeah. So this must be uh, Gypsy. That must be what I use the ponds for, right? Can keep those boys alive in there. Only live in pond. Oh, they require no. Okay, you answered my question. You answered my question. I'll puddle port. Uh, uh... Ooh, we got another and more lore. I used to come here when I needed a good soak. It's a great way to clear your head. Sometimes I'd catch a puddle slime blushing, and I could never tell if it was because I was in my bathing suit or not. They will not give ports if you have more than four in a pond. Five if you have a rubber ducky in the pond with them. Here's the link for the official slime rancher. Fuck yeah, son. Thank you. Thank you for the link. I just know. That's a good thing to know that number, though. Thank you. Because then I'll only... Oh, if I can find a couple more, maybe. Um, I'll bring them. Uh, I know if I look, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna succumb. I'm gonna have to buy. I have to buy some. Just know it. Yeah, that, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna say, Carly. The the the, the, the words. <laughs> this game are funny. It's a lot of good. Uh, good words. We all out of ports over here. I wonder if I can get across. Uh, nope. Not there anyway. I feel like my jetpack doesn't have enough juice. There's no way I'm going to make that gap. Maybe I will.
Oh, I made it. Holy shit. Um, man, lots of radiation. Ah. <laughs> More hazard signs. That hasn't stopped us before. Make sure I'm not missing. I don't think I'm missing anything over there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I do know that, Chipsy. I have just been negligent. <laughs> um, I, I, I actually said that, like, a little bit ago. I was like, I, I really should just spend some of this extra, extra monies I have on some upgrades here, because there's really no point in me. Just holding on to the... Ooh. Oh yeah, he's the big boy, Rad. Rad slime. This se I'm I'm gonna get lost in this section. I can tell you that right now. Thing and sure, it's not anything new. Oh, hey guys, how's it hanging? Yeah, maybe it's over this way. If not, that's okay. onion oh no is that only one way though shit uh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna give me a prompt whoops <laughs> okay <clears throat> let's look at the slime pedia oh I can get him later okay rad slime Aka Aka. It likes veggies. It's unknown if rad slime, sometimes called radies, came from being. Uh, came to be from external radiation sources or from something naturally occurring within the far, far range. Regardless, rad slime emits potent aura of radiation. They glow in the dark. Um, can induce rad poisoning in a rancher if they remain within it for too long. Ranchers are advised to monitor their rad exposures when handling these green globs of gamma goo. Gamma goo. As extended exposure can cause serious bodily harm. Given that raddies are basically mobile batteries, it's no surprise that corporations value rad plorts for their incredible energy producing capabilities. Most rad plorts get turned into plutonium, and everything from the latest holophone to a rad wave microcook system runs through the stuff. Oh, well, that place we're going. <laughs> Rad slime. Uh, boom slime. Meat. Oh, a briar hen. I don't think I've... Well, maybe I did, and I was running past them. Boom slimes are often heard before they're seen. Slime cells of a boom slime constantly vibrating. They're hard slime to crowd. And a puddle slime. Not too risky to manage. They just require a fair bit of maintenance. Rancher needs a pool of fresh water, like a pond available. Better for an experienced rancher, not one wet behind the ears. Um, I, I mean, I'd still probably consider myself wet behind the ears, but we'll see. Odd onion. Do you know if odd onions are the favorite of anything? 
Gypsy. Crystal slime is what it is. No, oh, stay in, stay in, stay in. Oh, they're cute. I like these ones. <laughs> their their enclosure is very, very cute. I like it. Well. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that makes sense for a lot of these. That, that, if you're thinking, Gypsy, because I imagine then that is why. Oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. That's why it's good to, like, pair up some of these more rare ones with make a Largo of them with one that is has food that's easy to collect is what I'm trying to say. Just do that for now. I think we've got some... Uh, Fruits to, to collect here. Fruits and veg. Wow, we just got a new friend. I hope they don't stink. We just got a follow from the Shadow Mist 4. Shadow Mist 4, thank you. For the follow. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoy hanging out with us. And welcome. Ooh, these are much more valuable than my current slimes. Our current plorts, I should say. Ooh, the pink ones are all of a sudden worth a decent amount. Prices will go down as you have more slimes on your ranch. Oh, is, okay, so that's that's probably why the prices have been dipping on those, eh? That makes sense. Supply and demand and whatnot. Whoa, <laughs> look at all these guys. Little bit full up there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna fill. Oops. I'm gonna fill the feeder. No. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. I know what I'm gonna do with this. So the Q berries we're gonna drop off. It's just a great sentence, yes. <laughs> Eventually, you can automate feeding your slimes and collecting their ports and things like that. Yeah, so Gypsy, I actually have... So I have the, on, like, my um, Largos, my two Largo pens, at least. I've got auto feeds, and I've got auto port collection. Um, so I've got that on that one, and then also this one. Ooh, that one's like... I gotta sell some of those. Um, here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to go back to that place, and I'm going to blow up that Chungus. 
Now, here's another question for you, Gypsy. Is it worth getting a silo? Oh. I oh, okay, I see what you mean. Like com completely automate. Okay, that's well that's really cool. I'm looking forward to that. Very nice. <clears throat> now what I was going to ask is is it worth saving up like getting a silo and throwing your plorts in there into a silo until the prices are what you want because i've i've found like from day to day it's like maybe a difference of like plus or minus five like at the very high end of things being different and to me it's like eh, i don't know if that's worth like playing the stock market so to speak for these guys Yes, okay. Oh, because you'll need him for other things. Gotcha. That makes sense. Open wide. this no you son of a bitch damn it go get god damn it i wanted whatever was in there oh that's new Oh, he ate it too! God damn it! That was too new for... Mm. Or maybe that was just a Q-berry. Okay, well, in, in any case. <laughs> I missed out on that one thing. Okay, I, now that we're here, though, I kind of want to... Now that we've got a, a teleport, maybe be a little bit more daring with our exploration out here. You know what, Gypsy, let's do this. Before we go up. We got money. So let's uh let's up let's do some upgrades on my gear here, because there's Yeah, I get yes, more jet yes, that's what I was thinking. More jetpack, more health. There's no point in me <laughs> struggling here. Oh, the puddle one sell for a lot. So, question then: Do the puddles 
do the puddle ones then do they i assume they retain the traits of whatever one you combine them with so you couldn't like make a bunch of puddle ones that are a largo because they ultimately would still have to be in a pond right oh you can't with anything okay Same with fire slimes, not to be confused with boom slimes. Oh, geez, this one's all full up, too. Oh. Okay, we do that. We're in the money. We're in the money. Really, I haven't been back to these collectors in a while. It's kind of cool, though. Nice to have a big, big amount to sell at once. Let's sell those uh, water ones. So if they be chillaxing, relaxing. I just feel kind of bad when I suck, when I suck them up uh, <laughs> when I'm trying to get the floors. Oh, are those so? Are those all cosmetic things, or do they actually do anything on the farm? Ooh, those were worth a lot. Like my fences look different now. Ooh, that looks nice. Excellent. What are we doing on feed for these guys? Oh, they're out. Shit. Uh, well, we can take care of that pretty easily. How about the. I have, a yes, yes. I have done like maybe five or six of them. I just, I'll do them like if I have a particularly slow little block of time. 
where I'm not chasing things down. Okay, good to know. Those unlock stuff too. Holy hand. We got a lot of Q berries. Too many, some might say. Oh my god, this isn't growing anything? <laughs> it's supposed to be growing beets there. That would be why I don't have uh, very many there. Let's do another one. Should be easy. Or is that a rock port? unlocked if I don't uh yeah you're right it's crystal so how do I have them unlocked if uh if I have never actually collected any new area yeah okay new new back to the new area we go see if we can find a crystal little explodey boys over here I assume these aren't crystal, right? These are rock. Yeah, rock slime. Like this way up, or this way up. Ha ha! Oh, ow, that hurt. Um, let's try that again, shall we? Go down here. Eee. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the assistance. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, these guys are all sharp, aren't they? I once came here to collect crystals for a little project of mine. I was trapped here for nearly two days when these curious crystal slimes came rolling my way and started firing off those dangerous shards. Thought I was going to kick the bucket. The crystals were for a wind chime. I bet Thora still has it hanging from her porch. Worth it. Odd onion is its fame. Yes. You mentioned that earlier. Okay. Well... We may as well uh, pick up a few more of these fellas if we can manage it without dying. Get a get a healthy amount of them. If they've got any of the plorts lying around, actually, let's get some more explody boys too because we only have two. Might as well stock up, right? Okay, 
So now we're going to set up a little spot for our crystal boys. This, uh, this portal here is very choice. The expression on the boom slime's face is just perfect. Doesn't know why they're there. They're just there. put an auto feeder down not an auto collector whoops it's okay we got money for it i just don't want to run in there <laughs> this should be enough for that little quest though some frame drops there. The game. Oh, boy, no. oh, I only needed one. Oh, when you get a ton of slimes, it has that issue. Let's go sell the rest of these ports then. Ooh. Those are worth a nice amount. Ah, shit. <laughs> Just, uh... Oh, my mail, yes. Because that's how I get introduced to new people on this little device. Maybe other things too, but I know for sure that's what that does. That's what I found so far. I guess may as well throw these guys in here. Whatever. You guys get neglected in there. You can have some The big storm. I got your mail. Of course I remember that day. I feel like that was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like a scene from a movie, only we both looked like wet animals. And the guy running the shop was a real tyrant. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. I felt like we learned about, uh, we learned more about each other that day than ever. Uh, maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really fast. Really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least that's how I remember it. Walking home, when the rain came back, you got closer to me and my heart was racing. But I couldn't blame that on the coffee. Shine, Katie. Mogi Miles. The other ranchers won't shut up about you and it's starting to get annoying. So let's see what all this fuss is about. I'd like to talk business with you. So I went ahead and activated a spare teleporter in that horrible cave you call... A ranch expansion. The teleporter will take you to my estate. I have others too, where we can work out the details. Ooh. Very interesting. A job. A J-O-B. As if I'm not a independently wealthy woman. As is. It sounds, seems like they want me to do it right now. There's a big fucking star. Okay, well, let's go visit that then real quick. Let's see what see what the fuss is.
Like, <laughs> they got big fucking arrows everywhere. <laughs> it's funny that we're not gonna see her in person. It's just like a video presence. It's it's uh it's like modern days, I guess. So he finally decided to show up. Since we're already running short on time, I'll get right to it. You're standing in one of the many estates at the edge of the Nimble Valley, which is uh, the only known home to the very quick, rare Quicksilver slimes. And everything you see here is my property, which means that I alone profit from all the Quicksilver ports that Nimble Valley produces. Brilliant, I know. Harvesting quicksilver plorts is very difficult and only highly skilled pro ranchers like myself can manage it. But I'm extremely busy since I've got a ranch to manage and a ton of the Miles tech business back uh, on Earth to run. So I need you to get in there and do it for me. Naturally, you'll be compensated. We want you to be a happy little worker bee after all. Now pay attention because I don't like to repeat myself. First, you'll notice that I've augmented that junker of a backpack you have with some cutting edge Miles tech. This never leaves the valley, so don't get excited. This augment will activate using patented Miles tech anytime you try to enter the Nimble Valley. I'll swap it out for your VAC tanks too, but don't worry, you won't lose the junk you had in there. Next, take the teleporter to the Nimble Valley and get to work collecting Quicksilver plorts. I'll explain things once you get there, but let me give you a quick rundown. The Quicksilver slimes in the Nimble Valley lie dormant until you activate the generator to send out a pulse and get them moving. But this generator only works for so long and then needs to be re or recharged. Quicksilver slimes eat electricity, and since they're super fast, the only way to get it to them is to blast them with a tasty spark shot from your backpack. But don't worry about actually collecting this, the plorts. I've got the valley rigged with Miles tech that will collect them for you. After the generator shuts down, head back and deposit the Quicksilver plorts here, and I'll be sure you get paid. Money talks for every 10 Quicksilver... Why do I keep stopping on that? I keep thinking it's slipper, but silver makes more sense. Every 10 Quicksilver plorts you deposit i'll give you a cut of the profits collect enough of them for me and i'll give you an even bigger reward we'll start with what i call mochi's extra mile which is is uh, me sometimes giving you the inside scoop on a more lucrative plort price just don't count on it all the time we're not friends i'll get out there and collect some quicksilver plorts for me and if you're feeling like you really know how to shake it try the other teleporter to an even trickier part of the valley or don't because you know it would be hopeless later tater I also I meant to say I like the twerking uh, gif in the in the corner. Yeah, that's um, um. Oh gosh, what's her name? Kate, Atina, I believe from Bob's Burgers. Um, I think that is where I'm going to call it for the night. Oh, um, Caligo, I put this stream up like two hours ago, but forgot about it and had it muted in the background. What did I miss? Um, well, we were just ranching some slimes. We unlocked a few new areas, got four more new types of slimes. So you could say things are going pretty well. Um, I am going to call it an evening, though. Uh, thank you to everyone who joined uh, joined me to wow, we just hang out. Friend. I hope they don't steal. And uh, Caligo, with the follow. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see. Is this the one? No, it's not. We'll give you a quick. We like to do this when I have the time. Thank you for the follow. I hope I'm saying your name right. Let me know if I'm not. Um, but yeah, thank you for the follow. And you'll be happy to know tomorrow we will be playing more Slime Rancher. At the same time, <laughs> no one ever, nobody ever says it right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing, Kate. Um, but we are going to play more Slime Rancher tomorrow around 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, but until then, thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate it as always. Love you all. Be excellent to each other. Stay hydrated. And we'll see you tomorrow. Please give Ginger all the love as we head on over to her channel. Thanks, everyone.
See you tomorrow.